All right, so I thought I'd uh, make a video for anyone who's trying to wire up a Smith's Digital Speedo for the Classic Mini. I have the uh, wiring instructions here from the manufacturer, and I just thought I'd make a video to, to demonstrate um, how simple it really is. I overthought it a bit, but uh, it really is quite easy. So for anyone uh, who's following along at home, we've got the 200 km an hour uh, gauge. It should be probably the same wiring as if you got a mile an hour one. Uh, and the sensor I've got is the EMP46, uh, and this is the one from Mini Spares, uh, the three wire for the uh, Pre A Plus. Uh, and so I just thought I'd go through and, and walk through the wiring. So green uh, is, is just your 12 volt uh, switched ignition power. Red, this one here, I was a little bit confused uh, as to because the instructions on the on the sensor itself say that you should be connecting uh, the red and the pink wires from the speedo harness to this red wire, but that's that's not the case. What you should be doing is connecting the pink wire to the red wire from the sender, and this red wire, this one here, uh, is connecting to 12 volts. So follow these instructions, connecting to 12 volts because the sensor does require a resistive load. So uh, that one you also connect to your ignition uh, and and that will g uh, give the power. It'll spit out in the pink one over here, the five volt for the, uh, that the sensor requires. Lucky for me, the rest of the wiring was really easy. It actually matched the, uh, the car harness already. So green and white uh, is the right indicator. I didn't use that because I've got uh, standalone indicators over here. So I've just pulled it off to the side. Uh, blue and white, um, main, main beam, high beam. Uh, light, that's, that was a blue and white cable on mine already. Brown and yellow, same, that was the going to the alternator is the signal. Green and black uh, was also green and black for me from the fuel sender. Uh, that doesn't need a voltage regulator like it does in the the original speedos. You just pl plumb it straight into the um, the cable there, and the 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 gauge does its thing. The red and white uh, instrument illumination again that, that was already red and white for the existing illumination. Uh, uh, the dash lights in my old speedo, black to ground. That's pretty straightforward. White and black. I have a three wire sensor. Uh, so white and black was the one I need. Red and blue. I, again, I've just put it over here. Uh, unused. Don't need it. Again, green and red left hand indicator. I didn't use that one. Didn't need it. But if you've got it there, uh, it is an option. Purple. Uh, that's your oil pressure. Or you've got uh, white and brown, which is right oil pressure. So it depends which one you want to use. I've got a mechanical oil gauge. Uh, so I don't need that one either. But if you've got it, you can use it. This is the five volt output uh, for the sensor, like we were talking about before. And red and black, uh, this is, I just I just put this in the same ground. Uh, I just plumb them into the same spade connector um, as, the, as the black ground wire. So that's just your ground, you've got your power and your ground for your, for your dash lights. So what that resulted in, a whole bunch of connectors. I'm not a professional at wiring, but this got the job done. Um, so we've got, uh, that's the red and black and the black there for the earth. And then I've, pe I've teed in the, um, the earth from the sensor, which is the green one here. The red one, as we talked about, red from the sensor goes to pink for the five volts. And the brown from the sensor goes to the white and black, which is the, um, the three wire uh, sensor. So that's the, that's the sensor all connected in, and then the rest of them are all connected to the old, uh, connected to the old dash lights there. And what does that result in? Well, if we have a look, now when we turn the ignition on, it does a sweep, resets the gauge. We can see the ignition light is on uh, because the car's not running. If we turn the lights on, that illuminates the back. If we put high beam on, high beam also works. Let me turn the lights off there. I didn't plumb in the indicators, so that's fine. I don't need them. Uh, you, yeah, these are also, um, you can you can use them as an oil pressure light if you want to use those. That says otherwise, but I've got, again, I've got the mechanical gauge, so I don't need that. 
and that's that. The only the only other piece uh, that you uh, potentially need is the uh, the trip button, which you've got to install somewhere. I've just installed it. There's a convenient little kind of round hole in the uh, in the binnacle already, so I've just uh, installed it there. It's just a little plastic button. You hold it down, resets the trip. If you hold it down as you turn it on, uh, that puts it into the the set mode to calibrate the speedo. So all pretty straightforward. That's the gauge. I'm yet to calibrate it and test it. Um, getting the sensor in was pretty easy. The only uh, issue I had there was just making sure the um, the the teeth were uh, in place and not kind of sitting out. Because if you tighten it up and it's not in, then obviously it's not going to work. Um, so just kind of get it loosely on and just um, yeah, then kind of play around, try and. I was spinning the wheels as well to try and get it all to line up. So spin the wheel as you're, as you're trying to jimmy it in. Once it feel it kind of drop in, then tighten everything up and you should be good to go. I've still got to calibrate this uh, and get this running and yet get it, get it finally installed. But uh, that's the process. Good luck. So now I've set the speedo. Um, basically the process I followed was... Uh, did the drive to set, so picked out a route on Google Maps uh, that was about a kilometre. Drove it a kilometre. Um, that gave a, uh, gave it a rough uh, approximation of, of where it should be. Then, uh, so that sets a, a PPU number that um, you can then uh, increase if you if it's over reading. So it's saying it's you're going faster than you actually are. Then you can increase the number, uh, and that will. Um, that will make it more accurate. If it's under reading, so you're going faster than it says you are, then you can increase the PPU number. So for me, it was about 5300 was my uh, happy medium that got me accurate. Now that's on 12 inch wheels with a 3.6 diff uh, in a 998. Yeah, so basically rough, rough process is initial drive to set was helpful for the, the rough calculation. Um, due to the you know many variables in in measuring that distance accurately, uh, I was able to just refine it with the PPU number. Um, so lots of times of turning the ignition off, turning it on to put in uh, setting mode, put in the number, give it a go, test again. But after about six goes, I was able to get it pretty accurate, um, calibrated to the to the GPS speedo. So I hope that helps. And uh, good luck with your install.